Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Google Chrome web browser is appearing slow, sluggish, or taking very long time to load or respond to web pages. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the solution. So you want to first start by opening up Google Chrome. So if Chrome is not already open, you want to go ahead and open that up. And you want to select the menu icon up at the top right corner, which is represented by three dots all stacked one on top of another. Go ahead and left click on that. And then you want to select the more tools button and then select extensions. So if you notice a lot of extensions in here, you might want to just consider turning off the ones you're not using or disable all of them and then restart the browser and then try turning on each one one at a time and see if we can isolate the issue to an issue of one of our extensions here, potentially creating some sort of conflict. If you're still having a problem, something else we can try here as well, if we close out of here, would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best result should go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. So again, IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter your keyboard. Should it come back of Windows IP configuration to successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Next thing you want to run here is NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen here. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. So it should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And hopefully I was able to resolve your problem, guys. If you're still having an issue, we can try resetting our Chrome settings. So again, I'd recommend trying to go on the Chrome browser first before you reset your settings and just see if that resolves the problem. But again, if you're still having a stubborn issue here, if we open up Chrome again and we select the menu icon, and then we go ahead and select settings, select on the left side where it says advanced, go ahead and left click on that, and select reset and clean up. Select Restore Settings to their original defaults. So this action will reset Chrome settings and Chrome shortcuts, disable extensions, and delete cookies and other temporary site data. So you have to go back in there and re-enable extensions once you're done with this. So bookmarks, history, and safe passwords won't be affected. Go ahead and select Reset Settings. And you can't keep this check mark if you want to report this to Chrome. Otherwise, just go ahead and select Reset Settings. And once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.